What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. We are here in our last year on Millennium Mines, and this is our beautiful miner miner that we built last episode. And I am so pleased with how this came out. Uh, if you watched the last episode, you saw I titled it my favorite wooden coaster ever. Uh, and it honestly, it might be. That wasn't meant to be clickbait. I honestly think this is one of my better wooden coasters that I think I've ever built. Um, it's I don't usually build these as condensed as this. It's very, it's a very long ride, but it's so the footprint is so small. Uh, it's a minute thirty six seconds. I think um, again, it looks similar in paint job, uh, but the soggy log I believe it was called from uh, Leafy Lake was similarly painted as well as it was kind of a long ride but it was completely different in the fact that it it was very straight and just kind of went in a line kind of around our park it didn't twist and turn and wrap around itself and over and under and it was totally different but I'm very pleased with how it came out nonetheless uh, or not nonetheless but it's awesome but we're gonna go ahead and build a water slide because you guys know how much I love these things and I was looking at our date so we're in April that means we have the remainder of April May June July August September October so six months left including April and that probably equates to about two rides and it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to complete the loop of my park like I was mentioning doing last episode but I'm going to do as much as I can with the time we have so let's get started because I don't want to waste any more time we need to start this with I'd like to have some walkway on this portion to extend over here to a, probably another station over here for whatever we build the last or whatever the last thing is that we build. And this is probably the highest station I've ever had. I don't think I've ever seen supports quite like that on a station platform. So we're gonna turn this this direction, I believe, and I need this to go, I don't know, but it's gonna be a three, I don't know, I need to come up with a, a name for these. A small radius versus a just a right hand curve. I don't know, the small one and the big one. I need a small turn right here because I'm wanting the walkway to extend on this tile right here. But we're gonna just do what we do with a water slide. And so we had have a lot of space left to work with. I still wanna do a, um, what is it called? The uh, mine train coaster or whatever it's called mine train roller coaster in this area i think we can't build a mining town themed uh amusement park without having a mine train roller coaster right that just doesn't make sense so we're gonna make it make sense by building one of those probably next episode i don't think we'll have the time to do it in this episode and that is going to run right into the edge of the park, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, we're going to have to do an S-bend right here. That works. S-bend right. And we will still be able to go up. No problem. Okay. So if we do... Okay. So we started at 15. We're only at 17 right now. I realized looking back at the footage of... Um... What was it called? Uh, Sonata Springs that by having multiple chain lifts that's actually what caused it to have so many issues with getting stuck so often uh, because if oh that needs to drop I can't do it like that uh, but if you have multiple chain lifts if one breaks down then actually even right now if this chain lift breaks down and a boat gets or a dinghy gets stuck at the bottom the other one, if it's leaving, it's going to hit the bottom of that and back up and just kind of sit right here. So then when it gets fixed and it starts going again, we're going to have issues. Uh, and so I'm already going to have issues with this. So forget everything I just said. Well, it's still valid. Don't forget what I said. But it's not... I'm not going to try to avoid doing that 
that's just going to end up being way more work than it's worth. And since we started at a high elevation and all this area is so much lower to begin with, I'm not really worried about trying to make things completely breakdown proof, if that makes any sense. Oh, how cool would that be if we could do that? We're going to try to get somewhere close to that. So let's do this. And S bend. That's kind of cool looking. I'm a fan. And then we're actually going to go back up and do another chain lift here. Because <laughs> why not? We started at 17, so we can probably go up a little bit before we have to do chains. We'll actually do it the same, just to make it look the same. And so this is going to have to drop down all the way back to 15 to clear all of this. And I hope this ride's not going to be in the way. It doesn't appear like it is. Never mind. Um, okay, that's fine. We'll come back on the inside of this and then I want to do another chain. I want to do a very steep drop and I'm actually thinking of going underground here and coming out in this general area. Again, I kind of like those built-in cliffs. They're, they're very nice. They're very easy. They make for a good addition to a ride. Oh, that looks awesome. That is such a steep drop. I love going on uh, water slides that have just epic drops like that. They are so much fun to do, or to ride. Uh, we'll actually go one lower so we can clear this without having to modify anything. And that looks perfect, just like that. Uh, this might require some trial and error, but if we came from 21, I'd like to be able to get all the way back up here I don't know if that's going to be bad or not. And I'd love to do it exposed. So this is actually probably going to be something we'll have to test. Um, because I don't really want to enclose that. I think that would be really cool to just be able to see the top of the hill as you're going up. And not be able to see over it. You just think you're going to fly off. And there's a good chance they might. <laughs> to be completely honest. There's a very good chance that as I test this, people... Well, I'm not going to test it with people on it. But if I did, those people would probably die. Uh, they would fly off into the woods and be gone forever. So we're going to avoid doing that because I don't want people dying. Um, I'd rather have a empty dinghy crash than one with people actually on it. So uh, where do we want to take this next? So we dropped from 21 all the way up to 15. Unlike most other rides that would still have a... Or, on most other rides that actually have track, that would actually have a good amount of momentum left to it. But on a water slide, it's going to lose most of that momentum. So we don't have much speed here. Uh, I do think I want to do another chain lift. I know I'm doing a lot of these. And we will just kind of utilize some of this space. Uh, I need to make sure that's enclosed when I do a drop there, just so no one's... I was about to say no one's dying that doesn't need to, but no one needs to die riding a roller coaster, so scratch that. But yeah, I'd like to just take this kind of through here a little bit. Nothing too wild, but something to utilize some of the space because we aren't using too much of it currently. So that's at 23 to 17. We'll probably need to drop this a little more uh, and this isn't going to be the best place to do that. Because we don't have enough space to really clear that. I guess I could go one more down and then do a um, a smaller curve or a small radius curve instead of the larger one. But who cares? I'm not going to. And this lines up perfect in that it's not conflicting with that. So if we do this and a... Two small ones? That should line up perfect. And I realized I said I wanted to do my walkway here, and uh, I kind of made that not doable now. So we'll actually change this, because I want that to happen. So we'll instead of doing a dip and going back up, we will just do a dip. Whoa, that looks trippy. That looks like a complete circuit. <laughs> but it's not. Now it is. Okay. Enough of that. Uh, where's the front? It's this end. Okay, so we need to... 
Oh, this is going to look interesting with the station this high up. We're actually going to do the station a little bit back from the front just for realism's sake. Uh, and then we can do the exit. I'm trying to think where I want this to connect up because this might all connect up in the air. I'm thinking that's what's going to have to happen. Because if I get... Let's actually test this real quick while we, while we talk. Uh, so if I let that boat one go there, uh, I don't need to be talking about that. We'll just watch it go. Uh, but if we start this path here, because this is where I want it to connect up with, I want it to go down and probably it's going to flatten out a little bit and then back up and that should connect fine there. So the only place we can connect this, sorry, I'm making sure this isn't going to crash. We're coming up on the, are we coming up on it? It's this one and then another chain and then, okay, so not quite. Um, so if we build all this, it's looking like it's going to have to connect up here, which is kind of excessive as far as line length goes, but we're doing it. That is right there. Oh, that's perfect. And we'll have even a little bit more speed with people on it. I don't think it'll be too much speed because uh, that came over at a nice, a nice crest. Uh, or it came over the crest at a nice speed. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Uh, but yeah, if we take this over here, that should line up with the middle here. Uh, and that means our exit can line up on that tile over there. So, nope, I don't mean to go that direction. I mean, what do I mean to do? I mean to do that. And then some of this. And I actually want to kind of lower this little by little. Actually, it only needs to go down one. So, there's really not much it needs to go down by. This one, however, again, also only needs to go down by one. So that works out nicely. Okay, there are our entrances and exits, or singular entrance and exit. I don't believe we ever hired a mechanic for uh, Minor Minor. We'll do that real quick while I'm thinking about it. And we'll also hire another one. I'm not going to name these guys because they're getting their own ride. And I'm not going to assign them anything else. There we go. Those are our mechanics, our handyman, or men. We probably need another to cover all this new path we added. I need to go back and finish my ride and check the stats. I know, I'll get there. Give me one second. And no one's covering that, but that's okay. No one's really throwing up off of bumper cars, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, water slide one, please don't have test results for me. Thank you, Ryan. You did exactly what I asked. <laughs> I forget we need to test it more. I always forget to do that. I don't know why. You just have to pretty much test it continuously until I think the first one gets all the way back to the front. I don't, I don't know. I've never paid too much attention to that. But while we wait for that, let us paint this thing. I would like to do... Let's actually see what we've got. I want to do some color. Uh, not a crazy color, probably one of these blues, just because it, it's a water ride and it kind of goes hand in hand with the water. Uh, black looks kind of nice. I kind of like that. What does gray look like? A little too bright for this park. The blue gives the, the color and the black keeps it a darker tone, which makes it, I think, work well for this park. Oh yeah successful water slide let's go I love building a successful ride it's so much more exciting no pun intended than building a not so exciting not really a pun but that was intended not so exciting ride because it means you spent all that time and effort and money uh, to build a ride and then you have to redo it and that's never fun or at least modify a little bit of it and I'd love to get, or I like getting rides done correctly the first time around because you don't have to go back and redo anything. And that's, that's what I like. Getting it right the first time around. All right, we're just adding some trash cans and the like here. And we're not gonna let them on for free. That's not happening. How much money can we get away with? That is the name of the game, $4. People will go on $4. I'm not gonna modify it any more than that. I think that's plenty. Uh, we have almost nine grand to our name. 
which will be plenty for what we're wanting to do uh, next episode. We're going to still build a little bit more of this episode. What that is, I'm not sure, but I'm not going to leave it here. Uh, we do need a name, though. And I planned on building a water slide this episode, so I actually have a name planned. Isn't that the first? Or a first for me, not the first. Uh, so this is going to be named... Oh my gosh, not caps lock. A. <laughs> Wayward Wash. And I actually looked up... I was kind of... I felt like some of my names were kind of getting... Uh, too similar. I mean, we have two rides. Coltown Quiche and Coltown Carton. They're both Coltown something. And I realized that after I did it. I'm not going to rename them, but... I realized that after the fact. And so... I would like to make sure that I don't keep doing that. So I looked up, I went to Google and made sure to check, I actually looked up mining town terminology, which is actually a thing. There was an article that had a whole bunch, or it was like a glossary of terms that were all associated with a mining town or just mining in general. And so a wash is basically the result of erosion. Uh, it's pretty much the equivalent of a landslide, but it's not all at once. It's just like over time, the wash is the, the dirt, the sand, the gravel, just all the, the earth that slowly... Whoa. Sorry, I don't know what this is. Um, it's all the dirt and debris and stuff that naturally, because of gravity and erosion and, and all that stuff. Sorry, my game just did something funny, so sorry for that. Okay, we're gonna build the reverse woe belly roller coaster. What is this thing? Cars run on steel girder tracks. The car is accelerated out of the station along level track using linear induction motors. That sounds way fancier than it probably is. It then coasts up the vertical section of track and free falls back downwards or falls backwards down the track to return to the station. So it's kind of like a shuttle loop in that aspect, but I don't think it can do a loop. Uh, it's a reverse wool belly car. Other info, the ultimate speed of this ride is controlled by the length of the straight track. To achieve maximum speed, a very long length of acceleration track must be built before the slope upwards. So it looks like we just need a straight shot of land for this, yeah. Okay, I can do that. That's awesome looking. Uh, where can this go? Where is a straight flat section of land uh it actually right here is perfect so the walkway will go here probably over one over here we'll actually do this starting i don't think we need anything in the back we'll do this on the edge of the park uh actually we'll do it one over from the edge and i wouldn't imagine this needs that much of a station so we're just going to do Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, entrance there, exit there. I don't know. And then we'll do... Okay, so there's... It's boosters by default. That's kind of cool. And then how big is this slope up? So we need to back it off by two. By more than that? I don't think that's going to get going very fast. Um, well, actually, it looked like it was only one train or like one vehicle so we'll try this and see how this works i've i think i might have built this way back when i was a kid i don't think it's gonna go that high um but this looks new to me uh, it might not be but it's new for you guys so <laughs> that's what matters right okay i don't think there's any options reverse wool belly car you can't yeah you only need the one so uh, limb powered launch mode. Oh, that's the linear induction, whatever it was called. Uh, linear induction motors. So that's the lit. Yeah, that's that. Powered launch mode. Uh, and you can't adjust the speed because that is determined again by the length of track. Okay, that's not too exciting. Can I build my station? can uh but i can't Ooh, okay 
Change in plans. So this is going to get backed off quite a bit. And we're going to have boosters all right here, which means this part needs to probably go up quite a bit higher. That's too high. Okay, so we'll test this again once we get our entrance built. And now we'll see if the ride's going to be in our way. It's not. Awesome. Or it is not in our way. And it is awesome. Not it's not awesome. Hope that made sense. Okay, let's test this and be very wary of it flying off the track. Which it's not. Not even close. Okay. So we're actually going to demolish some of this just to save some money and have it, I think, look cooler. I think it would be more exciting, I don't know, in-game if it actually makes it more exciting, but I think it would be more exciting to get right up on the edge and feel like you're about to fly off. So let's see if we can accomplish that. I think this is going to cut it pretty close. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there just in case we add people on it and it... Um, with the added with the added momentum of said people if it makes it a little too too crazy or too close to flying off the edge and we just unlocked martian theming objects we're gonna take a look at that we're not building it in this park but because martians and mining towns i don't really think go too well together you know if the mining town got abducted sure but that's not what's gonna happen not that you have a say when aliens come to abduct but <laughs> okay enough of that <laughs> all right so mechanic six can cover all of that i didn't think we we're gonna be building anything right here but or not right here exactly something in this area we'll test that once more just because i think that looks so awesome and we'll open it So this is called a, what is the ride? A woe belly? Um, I, I didn't have a name planned for this, so pardon my unoriginality. Odd numbers look better. One exclamation mark or three, not two or four. Uh, whoa there, miner. Or I guess it's more exciting if I say it with some enthusiasm. Whoa there, miner that better i think so <laughs> okay and the color scheme for this that actually looks kind of cool the yellow sticks out like a sore thumb uh so let's heal that thumb by making it not yellow uh what would look good here again i'm trying to do not the craziest colors what would gray look like Ooh, i think that looks nice the boosters you can't change the color of those or sorry, the, the limb-powered track. That would be so cool. I wish I could get it going faster. We'll have to build this again in another park and just make this insanely long to get it to its max height. That would be so cool. This is like very similar to the shuttle loop design, minus the loop, obviously. But it just it feels so much different because the wheels are massive, the train is huge. Or the car, or whatever it's called. The Woe Belly car. That is awesome. See, I'm excited to get into some of the uh, parks ahead of us. Because we're going to keep getting new stuff like this. And when it's new for me, I get very excited if that wasn't apparent. And I think that makes it more exciting for you guys. Or at least I hope so. Uh, let's take a quick look through our park real quick. I can't see anything when I zoom out. I don't know why I bother doing that. Uh, but it looks like everything has a line, at least somewhat of a line. This obviously doesn't, but 40 cents? Will people go on that now? Yes, they will. But yeah, we've been doing a little bit of uh, maintenance on all of our rides, pricing and everything. And it currently looks like people are riding everything in our park. This is a huge success gold rush glory it has made us quite a bit of money 12 grand since we opened that is insane uh, and definitely necessary i uh, looks like i spoke too soon we have some things that no one wants to go on i could do the kind of cheap way and demolish it and rebuild it but like i mentioned in i believe it was trinity islands when i did that just to kind of test it i don't like doing that 
it feels cheap and it I don't know I don't I don't have an issue with money right now I'm sitting here almost at 15 grand which will be plenty to build our roller coaster next episode so I don't feel like I need to bamboozle people out of every dime that they have so I think that is going to do it for this episode I hope you guys have enjoyed our wayward wash build and our kind of unexpected whoa there miner again i think this is awesome uh it's so cool i'm gonna probably praise it some more next episode when i'm still in shock at the fact that this thing even exists but all right guys that's gonna do it for this episode thank you again for watching i appreciate it as always and until next time take care i'll see you guys in the next episode